Hi friends, I'm Penny Hunt and I just wanted to pop on today just for a few minutes and talk to you about my latest writing, We All Have a Superpower. I posted it this week on my social media and on my website, so if you haven't read it, the link is always with these videos so you can go back and read it. But I told a story in that writing about being at a meeting several years ago and I was with a group of people that I trusted and felt safe with and I told them a story about what was going on in my life and how I was frustrated because I was trying to maneuver and manipulate a situation to be um, positive and happy and healthy. And I was frustrated because people in my world weren't cooperating. I wasn't able to create the kind of environment and space and situation that I wanted to. And I was convinced it was my fault. I was doing something wrong that people weren't acting the way I wanted them to or um, my life wasn't playing out the way I wanted it to. And after I told this story and we had a discussion and then it was lunchtime. So we were in the buffet line and as I'm going through the buffet line, I hear this voice in my ear from a person behind me and she said, you must pretty think you're pretty you must think you're pretty darn powerful. She said it a little bit more color, colorfully than that. <laughs> but it hit me in a really weird way because I had just spilled my heart out to this group of people and I thought, "What is she saying to me?" And she said it again. "You must feel like you are pretty darn powerful that you can control all of that." And then she walked away. And I remember taking this big scoop of potato salad and plopping it on my plate with no intention of eating it because I'm not even a big potato salad fan. And I just did it out of, because I wanted to get out of there. I wanted to take my plate and go sit at a table and get away from her. And I thought, that was just rude. That was rude. How could she say that to me? What does she mean by that? Didn't she just hear my big long story I told? And I, was really pretty upset until I started thinking about it. And I realized she was 100% correct. That I thought I could control everything. I thought I could control the reaction of other people. I thought I could control a situation that really was not mine to control. When I realized that, my anger subsided a little bit and I thought about the gift she had given me of making me realize I didn't really have all that much power in this situation. But it also made me realize that we do all have a superpower. We really do. We have a superpower of controlling our emotions, controlling the way we look at life, controlling about how we project love and happiness and positivity and kindness. And by doing that, <clears throat> it will magnify and multiply in our life and others will treat us that way and it will just spread out into the world and the universe. We all have that superpower. And what's unfortunate right now is many people are using that in a negative way. Many people are using that same superpower, but they're projecting anger and resentment and hate and all of this um, division about anything, whether it's in their family or in the world or in politics, and that superpower is playing out in a negative way. So if we think about the superpower we have to control our emotions, how we can project our emotions and feelings, how that will um, be accepted by other people, and hopefully they will project in the same way, and that is the superpower we hold. We really can't control other people. Many situations we can't control, but we can control ourselves. That is the superpower that we have, to control what comes out of our mouth, what comes out of our world, what comes out of our actions. That is our superpower. And hopefully we'll use it for good. Hopefully we are projecting love and kindness and happiness and well-being to ourselves and to others. So that day, in that buffet line, that friend of mine <clears throat> gave me such a gift. 
It didn't feel like it. It felt like a smackdown <laughs> when she said it to me. But it was a gift to make me realize I don't have the power to control other people. I don't have the power to control others' lives. I don't have the power to do all of these things. The only power I have is in me. How I act, how I think, how I feel, and how I project things. So thank you friends for signing on. I see you there. I know I haven't been on for a while. I have been super, super busy. So I'm hoping to get back in the routine of doing some of these lives. I'm posting another new writing um, in the next few days. So I'll be back to talk about that one. In the meantime, think about what your superpower is. And if you haven't read the writing, the link is here. So read it, tell me what you think, tell me what your superpower is, and spread that joy and happiness and kindness to someone before the day is over. You've got time. I'm Penny Hunt. This has been Penny Heart to Heart. Thanks for watching.